These are corals. Oh. They're coming from way up top, so they've fallen from the high beds. And these are also two very, uh, very good ones. They are a, a coral called Heliophyllum holli, named for James Hall. And you can see they're a solitary rugose or horn coral. You can see the septa peeking out there with their little yard arm carinae. One of the weird words that I, I learned as a youth. I, I asked my mom, what does yard arm carinae mean? Because I read that in the treatise. I said, I, don't, I have no idea, but it's something about it. Uh, anyway, these, these funny little sep septal patterns. What's really <coughs> interesting about these corals, however, is these uh, wrinkled growth lines. You all know why they're interesting? If you study these with scanning electron microscope, it turns out you can find individual bands uh, separated by uh, a thicker band, thin bands separated by thicker ones. John Wells counted them up. He found that there were about 400 little, little bands per big, between two big ones. The big ones represent some sort of seasonal thing, a slowing down of growth during a breeding cycle or maybe during a uh, a, a part of the year when the conditions were more stressful. But the fact is, how many, uh, if you go to a modern coral, you find bands like that, how many do you think you get in a modern coral? Between two annual bands. You get the same kind of setup. How many do you think you might get? I'll give you a number and maybe that'll mean something. And the truth is that if you go today and count them, they come out close to 365. Now that's a number that should ring a bell. What does that mean? Daily. Daily. So what does that tell you about the Devonian? Fewer days. Fewer, fewer, fewer days? Four hundred twenty days. Sorry. Four hundred some. Four hundred some. Yeah. And, some, yeah. yeah, and the Devonian. So uh, why is that? Anyone uh, know? Astrophysicist around? Okay. Does it have to do with the speed of the Earth rotating? Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. The Earth is sort of slowing down through time. Its rotation because of lunar drag and so on. But anyway. Uh, we, these were used then as a kind of geochronometer, and so the famous Heliophyllum holli was the first of many to really, I'd say, found the field of sclerochronology. 